Hey everyone, welcome back to class. So today we're going to be talking about two-step equations, but before we get to that, I want to start with something simpler, all right? Um, and just a heads up, as we're going through the lesson today, if I ask any questions, feel free to shout out the answers, okay? Unless I call on someone specific, then I expect them to answer. Um, so just keep that in your minds. So to start off, can anyone give me a brief explanation of what an equation is? Yeah, Jenny. Um, it's something with an equal sign and... Yeah. And we usually solve it. Yeah, that's a key, right? We usually solve it. Um, so is there an example you might be able to think of that you can write up on the board sure. for us? Awesome. Awesome. So up here we have 3x equals 12. And like Jenny said, we want to solve this equation. In this case, we're trying to solve for x because we don't know what it is yet. So to solve for something, we need to get it completely by itself. So it might look something like x equals a number, but we don't know what that number is yet. So we're going to go ahead and put a question mark. Now, Flora, is x by itself up here? No, there's a 3 next to it. Exactly. Um, and Lena, this 3 has a special name when it's in front of the x. Do you remember what that name might be? Uh, coefficient. Yeah, it's a coefficient. Exactly. So the coefficient is the number that's in front of the x right here. And that means it's multiplying it, okay? So we have 3 times x equals 12. So we want to get x completely by itself, right? So that means we need to get rid of the coefficient. How might we do that? Divide by 3. Yeah, so we divide by 3 over here. And whatever we do on the left side, we have to do on the right side, right? So we divide by 3. So 3 divided by 3, they cancel out, and our x comes down. Now what's 12 divided by 4? Anyone can answer this. Four. Four. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, I meant to say 12 divided by 3. Thanks, guys. So does everyone follow how we got there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So this is called a one-step equation because it only takes one step to solve. And that step was dividing by 3 on both sides, right? Now, let's say we had something a little more complicated, a two-step equation. That might look something like this. We might have 3x minus 6 equals 12. So, with the two-step equation, we want to get this equation to look as much like this one as possible because we know how to solve this equation, right? We just did it. So, what's different about this equation over here? Six. The six, right? So, if we want to get this equation to look like that one, we need to get rid of the six. Now, how might we do that? Add six. Yeah, we, we want to add six, exactly. And we add six to both sides just like we did before. So now we're going to have 3x plus 0 equals 12 plus 6 is 18. And now 0 is nothing, so I can rewrite this equation as 3x equals 18, okay? Now, this looks really similar to what we had before, right? So, Lena, do you might want to come up here and show us how we might solve this problem based on what we did before? Okay. Awesome. So, what you did was to divide by... Three, uh -huh. and you did it on both sides. Yep. So that's one, and this is six. Yeah. So like Lena just did, we divide by the coefficient on both sides, and we get x by itself equals six. So just to summarize, our first step was to get rid of the extra number, and our second step was to get rid of the coefficient, so we can have x by itself over here, right? So I came up with a little song, and it's on your guys' handouts that you have with you, to help you guys remember these steps, okay? So I'm going to sing it once, and then you can sing along with me the second time. It goes like this. To solve a two-step equation, you only need two things. Get rid of extra numbers and make x a bit lonely. Then divide by the coefficient, whatever it may be. Do that, and you can always set x free. So you guys can sing along this time. To solve a two-step equation, you only need two things. Get rid of extra numbers and make x a bit lonely. Then divide by the coefficient, whatever it may be. Do that, and you can always set x free. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, so now going forward, 